Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to our channel, Eid Mubarak, it is Eid El Adha, which is a festival of sacrifice, which I have found to be a very amazing time of year. I have learned so much about this occasion and what it means to Muslim people around the world and um, about Hajj, which I'll post the link below. But first, if you're new to our channel, <laughs> Sorry. Welcome. If you are not new, welcome back and make sure you like and subscribe below and get notifications so you don't miss anything. This year, I was able to be a part of the Eid prayer um, Saturday morning, which is an amazing thing. I have never been a part of this, and this is my first year um, going through this particular Eid. And there's two per year as Muslims. So this one specifically is for the sacrifice of the lamb or ram, excuse me, that commemorates the time when Abraham was to sacrifice his own child, Ismail. And instead of doing so, God brought him a sheep. So everyone in the Muslim community sacrifices sheep. For, to commemorate that time and the things that happened in the past. And I find this time of year to be very beautiful. There's a lot of details that go along with this, um, which I will post some videos below so that if you are not sure what is being, you know, celebrated right now, you know below. Um, I learned a lot about Hajj uh, and what an honor it would be to go there, uh, to go to Mecca to perform Hajj. Um, so this is the last month of the Islamic calendar. So people perform Hajj, which is so amazing. Uh, again, it is a time where people from around the world go to Mecca and they worship God. <laughs> and so Saturday, I was able to go to the Eid prayer, which again was so amazing. There was so many different cultures in one space. I mean, even a white woman from Texas. <laughs> If you want the love to come in this gathering, this beautiful gathering, give salam to the person to the right. Give salam. All the mosques came together, and it was a lot of different people from different backgrounds dressed in their original traditional clothing. And very beautiful, just to the T, uh, celebration. And I can't imagine what this is like in Morocco, which his brother, Sofian's brother, sent me a video of what it's like in Casablanca. And I would love to be a part of this, uh, inshallah, hopefully next year. So this weekend has been very great and positive and a lot of energy. It started with our anniversary. It was our first year anniversary on the 8th, and I was able to get henna, which I love, <laughs> for our anniversary. And um, I'm sorry, I wanted to say real quick, I am still having to speak through my headphones. Sorry, the microphones that I really want are very expensive. However, that will come, inshallah, hopefully soon, because I know there's a lot of feedback with these headphones, and I'm sorry, I don't even know how to fix it, because I am not tech savvy, and Sophian probably knows, maybe, I don't know, <laughs> but he's not here, and, um, but I just want to tell you that real quick, if you're having to listen to me through this static, I, I know it's there, but I don't know how to fix it, and inshallah, I'll have a new mic soon, but anyway, Back to uh, what I was saying. So it started with our anniversary, and the next morning I was able to go pray. And the tikbar, a tikbir, I'm sorry, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I was there during that and just witnessing the amount of people that came that were flooding into the field to pray together. I was just, you know, this is an experience that I've never had before. Last year, 
I was in Morocco before this happened, and I, so I witnessed everybody purchasing the sheep and things like that, but I had left before any of this happened. So to see everybody in a happy state from, I mean, I saw people from Asia, I saw people from West Africa, and their, you know, their hair was wrapped to the T. Um, I saw India, you know, in their traditional clothing, and the men were dressed very nice, you know, the children were dressed very nice, and it just, it was very special, but the energy that was in the place is what I admire the most. There was so much positivity in the air, and just knowing that everybody was in one space to pray to Allah for one minute, sorry, I'm so sorry, um, just to know that everybody was in the same space worshiping God was truly a magical moment. So I can't even imagine what it's like going to Hajj or to perform Hajj in Inshallah that will happen someday. But I, I would pray that you were able to be a part of that someday also. And I will, again, post links below about this. I am kind of a, a, a history buff, so I like history. There's a documentary about Hajj and what they do. It's kind of old, kind of boring to some people, but to me, I found it very, very interesting, and it's important to know why people, or Muslims, excuse me, are doing the things that they do, and this is something that I never knew before this weekend, so I feel so blessed to be able to know now, because I have reverted to Islam, and uh, actually, that brings me back to one thing, because the white woman that is from the mosque that I went to, she actually reverted from Mormonism. So that was actually the first time I've seen anyone that had went from Mormonism to Islam, which I thought was kind of cool because, you know, hey, it was literally everyone from every single background you can imagine that was in one place worshiping Allah. And I thought that was really cool. So I just wanted to stop in real quick because I am, I got a lot going on, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about this and to share my joy and i pray that you guys have a wonderful eve and that your family has major blessings and that you are open if you're not muslim i pray that you're open to receiving the message that your muslim friends may have for you because I have just been so overjoyed the last 48 hours, and it's still going into tomorrow. Uh, Sophia and his father have uh, sacrificed the sheep today. So I was able to see pictures and things like that, which it just, it feels like such an honor to be able to do that and know what it's commemorating and know why you're doing it. So during this time, there's a lot of good things, a lot of good things, but you'll have to read about them or watch the videos below because there's so many things that I read over the last 48 hours that my mind is just like, wow, <laughs> where has Islam been this whole time? You know, I know it was in me. It was definitely in me. It just had to be brought out of me. And I'm just here to let you guys know that if you want more information, I will spread it with you. We'll figure out those answers together. But it is truly a joy to be able to talk about Islam and to understand like what we're doing and why we're doing it and the purpose and the intention and things like that. So I really appreciate you guys coming and listen to me. Um, inshallah, Sophia and I will be together soon and we won't have to do so many vlog videos of me just talking and we can actually have videos of us together. But I truly appreciate you guys being here and a part of my life because I feel like I have a good following now and I feel like I've made a lot of good friends. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. Um, I I definitely have introduced myself to a lot of you guys on Instagram. So I really appreciate that you guys are, you know, becoming friends and inviting us to your weddings and things like that. Like that truly means a lot to me that you would even care to invite me. I'm just a YouTuber or I guess I can call myself that now. But um Anyway, if you are looking for more answers, I would love to answer them. Um, again, I'm going to post some links down below about all of this that Muslims are celebrating currently and you know why in things that are going on. So I hope that you enjoyed this quick video. Please come back. Uh, inshallah, everything will work out in time, in Allah's time. And um, we should know something soon, inshallah. So keep praying for us. 
the immigration process has been tough, but this weekend has definitely taken my mind off it, just being around other Muslims who are worshiping God in one time. I've never been a part of that, and I haven't been able to do that. And it's been a very, very joyous occasion for me. Uh, just, you know, I I can't say that I've ever felt this way before. So it's truly amazing. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Eid and prayers and blessings to you all. And please join us again in our next video. Bye.